Hey guys, Locks Love Firearm Reviews here today. As you can see, I'm at the range, and what I want to do for this video is show you guys some basic EDC drills that you guys can do, whether it be here at an outdoor range or in an indoor range. So I'm going to give you some basic drills. This is the first one. Uh, I like to put it about three to seven yards, depending on you know, your shooting skill and what's good and comfortable for you. Uh, I like to do these as a warm up when I first get to the range. Uh, I do five rounds and I try to put all five rounds into my orange circle dots. And that's what I'm gonna do for this first drill is five, five round warm up when you get to the range. All right, so like I said, we got our target and I'm gonna do five rounds. And I'm gonna put all five rounds into the target. So what I want you guys to do you got your target set up, guns loaded, ready to go. I want you to have your hands up, then drop down to fit your garment, draw your pistol, fire one shot, scan, lift your garment, reholster, done. So I'm gonna do that five times. So make sure you get your good stance and everything you need to be an accurate and proficient shooter. Granted, this is a perfect world. No one's coming at me and there's no stress involved, but still, we're training. Forgot the scan. So you want to do that five times. And your target should look like this. Again, perfect world, no stress, no one's coming at me because I always know you guys like to cherry pick things like this. But that is my warm up drill when I first get to the range. I fire about five rounds and I'll do that with about every gun I have. So if I got my CZ or my 43 or right now my 19, I'm going to do that drill with all these guns. All right, for this one, this is a reload drill. So what I like you to do is take two mags, take one mag, put one round in there, take your gun, load it, holster. Now take your other magazine, and this is completely dependent up to you, whether you wanna do five rounds, 10 rounds, or a full mag, that's up to you. For training demonstrations, I'm gonna load five rounds. Two, three, four, and fifth. Well, we got our mag. Goes in our spare mag holster if you have one or if you got it in the pocket. Put it in the pocket that you would normally carry your spare mag in to simulate how you, you know carry your spare mag. Train how you fight. So we got that. We got one round in our Glock and five rounds in our spare. So what we're gonna do is draw from concealment, you know, hands up, draw, fire that one round. When the slide locks back, drop the bag, reload, one round. So you're gonna fire two shots on this training scenario. We need that. Since this mag is empty and you have a round in the gun, what you do is drop the mag with the, with the ammo in it, take that empty mag, put it in the gun, hold it. Now, 
the magazine with the bullets. I'm sorry, this is B that's bothering me. You take that, put it in your spare mag holster for the next drill. And that's the reload drill. I'm not gonna get any fancy bands or terms, you're just fucking reloading. <laughs> that's it. Uh, so that's the second drill that you guys can do at an indoor range or outdoor. All right, so drill number three. This is the, I'm, make, I'm making this up, <laughs> but I guess you could call it transition. I don't know, you're not really dropping a rifle or pistol or anything. But what you do is that you have two dots and you're going from one dot, transitioning to another dot, simulating if you have two targets to shoot. So you're gonna need one mag. Again, number of rounds is dependent on you, but I would say at least six, so you can get at least three uh, training scenarios out of that mag. And that's six. So one mag and your pistol holster because we're working from concealment on here. So we've got our two targets and what we're going to do, we're going to draw fire on one target then transition immediately to the next target and fire. And that is drill number three, the transition drill. So we had our warm up, we have our reload, now we have our transition. All right, so this is drill number four. This is a combination of the reload and transition drill. So what you're gonna do, draw from concealment, fire on one target, fire on the second target. Then you're gonna drop the mag, and then you're gonna fire again. First target, second target. All right, so for the drill, you're gonna have two rounds in your probably magazine, which is the one in the gun, round chambered. And then your spare mag is gonna have three rounds because you want those two rounds in your first mag to fire, the slide locks back, then you load, with the spare mag and fire you two rounds and you want to have that one round in the chamber for the next drill. So that being said, again, first mag two rounds, spare mag three rounds. And this is how it should look like. Again, the number of rounds is completely dependent on you, the shooter, what you feel, how much ammo you have, and your skill set. But that's how the drill supposed to look. I'm gonna do it one more time, just in case you guys missed it or you looked away or whatever, looked at your phone. So this is drill number four. The transition reload drill. Don't have a name for it, just do it. And that's how you do that drill. So, 
there are four drills right there that you guys can do at an indoor range or outdoor range you know depending on rules you know some are more strict than others but for the most part most ranges should be okay with you the drills i just showed you but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video hopefully some of these training tips uh can help you out and help you uh actually become a more of a shooter i'm no expert i'm training myself but a lot of people, I guess, think I'm some expert, and they always ask me for advice or what I do, and this is what I do, guys. I don't do anything super spectacular or high speed. I really just keep working on the basics, and that's really what makes a really good shooter is having a mastery of the basics. Running around, half second mag reload, shooting out 10 rounds on some steel and shit. Yeah, it looks cool for the camera. But in some real shit, you're not running out in this street doing all that high speed running and shit. You're gonna find a place <laughs> to get behind cover and you're gonna you know, work from there or try to leave. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, naysayers, comment the box below. I know there's bound to be some. You know, everyone's got something to say but nothing to show. But hey, that's how it is and that's why I do what I do. And that's why I enjoy you guys who actually appreciate the channel and actually take something from the channel and help use it in your everyday life to help benefit you. Because I am not coming to your house to protect you. You need to protect yourself. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please be safe. Buy a t-shirt off Teespring. Yeah. Support the channel. Be safe, locks load out.